I will take these for four dollars each. If you're into horror stuff and not Five Nights, these are actually rad. Whoa, dude! So this is a sealed JP. This is beautiful. Ooh, this is a tight seal too. I have a few that are sealed, but the seals aren't this tight on it. I feel like they're like all loosey goosey. But I still got this PSP Go for twenty five bucks. There's another PlayStation Two right here. Yeah, put it that way. We still like thirty dollar range. I was like, eh, four bucks. Cool. Yeah, it was one of those things no, where like, like we didn't know that we were, we were like, oh, good score, but we weren't like. Holy crap, but right now it's a holy crap. I'm Aaron and I'm Ricky and we're at the Orange County Swap Meet. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron and I'm Ricky and today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet. All right, we are back at the OCC Swap Meet. Ricky and I, it is bright and early once again. You guys saw what happened last time we were here. Pure insanity. 30 bucks for the box? It was good. Pure scores. So we're praying that opens again. We're living on a prayer. So I think all of the clothes are a dollar each. So we're poking around. It never hurts to look. Ricky, what'd you find so far? That is Charlie. But you did find a Smith shirt. Yeah. For a dollar. Oh, I thought it was single stitch for a second. But still, yeah, that's it. And if you want to flippy flip it, I know music stuff flippies. Flippy Ricky? Flippy Ricky. <laughs> Love this. We are the descendants of men who refuse to be ruled. Patriot rising. Heck freaking yes. Oh, hell yeah, brother, yee! Look at this possum just screaming. <laughs> what about you, Ricky? I got some sublime. Oh, that's sick. That's rad. Yeah, it's really orange inside. I like it. Uh, nice, Ricky. That's a cool one. Take this one out. What else? Show one. me, show me. Zenith. Dang, Zenith TVs? That's what it is, bro. That's actually pretty not rad. official, but... But, yeah. what what Neither is Gabble. Some guy named Gabble. All right, I got two things. I got myself some sweatpants. They're size large, but they look kind of big. But to be honest, when it comes to sweatpants, I don't even like them to be like slightly tight. I like them to be like falling off of me. So I got these and I also picked up this for a buck. It's probably bootleg, whatever, I don't care. It's a Kanye West, I'll be taking naps sweater. I think it's cool. I don't know if I necessarily like Kanye. I mean, he's gone through stages up and down, left and right. But uh, I do like his gospel album. As a Christian man, I was able to jam to some Kanye Westers. Whoop de scoop de poop. Whoa. What is that? It broke off. Oh, it's supposed to be glue. Interesting. How much is this stuff, Paul? Why aren't you asking? I don't know, dude. How much is a controller? How, how much for all of it? 90. 90? Is there a game in there? There's not. Dang it. What'd you just do, Ricky? Tell me what you just did, so Ricky. You wanted 15 for this one, and you wanted seven. Maybe I think eight for this one, so I just bundle mania and, you know, got them both for 20. Ricky with the bundle mania! So Ricky just got a good deal with this guy. I tried to get that GameCube he had back there. I wanted to get just the Orange Spice controller, but he only wanted to sell all the GameCube stuff as a lot for 90 bucks. But Ricky swooped in. I was trying to actually get this, but Ricky swooped in, smart man, and he bundled them up. Bundle Mania. Bundle Mania. Give me the controller. 15 bucks. Well, I'll get what I got it for. What a nice man. Can I give you four for it? Because it's PS4. It. Let's see. This one's kind of cool, the collector's edition, Shrek 2, Tarzan, Shark Tale, and then there was one more GameCube one somewhere in there. A lot of wrestling stuff, Ricky, to go with your stuff. This one's cool, right here. Oh, 2K3. Yeah, oh, FIFA World Cup right here. Put on your desk. Ooh, Ricky just pointed this out, so this would be, how do you put this on your desk? So is it a clamp right here? Does this open up right here? I'm trying to see how you put this on your desk, Ricky. This would be like a, a cell phone, vloggy style desk mount. I have some for my mics, but it'd be nice to have a phone one. What the, how do you hook that up? There's gotta be a way. Wow. 
Already, first thing, Legend of Lagaya, Ricky. How did that go? It was not bad. He, he just wanted four bucks for it. I was like, okay. What do you mean not bad for four bucks? I mean, let's just be honest. How much does that game go for, Ricky? Well, I mean, complete. It's probably like an $80 game, but loose? What, is, what, is, what do you mean loose? That's not loose. Well, I mean, the disc is a little rough. But that doesn't make it loose. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I know. He just feels bad. It's an $80 game. I didn't realize it was... <laughs> yeah, put it that way. I we it was still like $30 range. I was like, oh, yeah, four bucks. Is cool. Yeah, it was one of those things no, where like, like, we didn't know that we were, we were like, oh, good score, but we weren't like, holy crap. But right now it's a holy crap. <laughs> Ricky, give me a holy crap thumbnail. Hold it out and be like, whoa. Of the fins, um, probably going 15. 15. I like the color on these fins, Ricky. Oh, those are sick, dude. You have to be honest, all right, if I look good or not. Okay, if you were my wife, what would you think of seeing this? <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, I'll say it's a tiny bit big on me, which to be honest, is going to work better for you. You saying I'm fat? No, I'm saying you're just a little bit more big bone, beautiful than me. Big bone, thank you. And I'm not fat, I'm big bone. He doesn't like it. <laughs> it's too big for me. Is it too big? It is a little big. Yeah, just a little. Dang. <laughs> cool color. <laughs> I know, man. Sometimes when I see these old beer signs, I'm like, man, if I was a, a drinker, I'd be buying some of these things. These are sick, like the Heineken one back there. It light up, but I feel like a, a like a like a fake. They're like, oh man, you look, what's your favorite kind of Heineken? What's your favorite kind of Miller? I'm yeah, like, we can't hang it, we don't drink it. So do they, it's like, do they have Dr Pepper? Bro, where's a good Dr Pepper sign? Dude, Dr Pepper signs are hard to come by. Didn't even see all this down here. There's another PlayStation 2 right here and a Call of Duty, but there is some controllers down here, just sitting down here. I'm gonna ask about these guys right here in a sec. How much are these guys? Just the controllers. I don't think there's a console with it. I don't know, because this one works for this one. This, no, that doesn't work for this one. This one, this one works for this one. Yeah, there's no console for that one. I go 18 for both. 18 for both. And then how much is this guy? The Wii. Uh -oh. I don't know if I want this one. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging. I also see some other stuff in here, but nothing crazy. Let's see the games. We got Madden 13, Masters, 2K12, Tiger Woods, Modern Warfare 2, Madden Call of Duty, and Major League. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, people. <laughs> Dude, just kept pulling stuff out. There was actually a DS I was going to try to bundle this with, but someone took it. But I still got this PSP Go for 25 bucks. The all new pocket size download only PSP Go. Not sure if it works, but I had to take a chance for 25 bucks. I don't really, we don't get to see too many of these, actually. We're over there, and I'm sitting there. Ricky's looking at it, and I immediately go to Mercari, and I'm like, screw this, I wanna know if this thing's worked. And Ricky's like debating over there, and he's like, maybe I should, maybe I should, I don't know. And I look up at Mercari, I didn't know. I've never even seen one of these stupid things, the PSP Go, and people buy these. Someone bought one like four hours ago. For $150 like this. I saw someone else buy one for like 90 broken. It was for parts. So honestly, it's really cool that for my birthday, Ricky's buying it for me. And my fanny pack, Ricky, looks good like that. If it falls, you owe me $150. That's actually true. Here you go. <laughs> PSP, go away. The amount of times I've had family members send me a picture of an Atari flashback and tell me like, oh, they're trying to be nice, but they're like, yeah. dude, I know you're into gaming. I found an Atari flashback. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you, but it's a piece of junk. When it comes, oh, it sticks. Is that the real six? Oh, Ricky, that's very interesting. Ooh, some cool stuff as we turn the corner. Look at all these Wiimotes. Fable 2, Ricky, that's a good one. Modern Warfare 2. 
Fallout, Halo 3, Marvel. Dead Rising is so cool, dude. Motion Plus with the extra. A real Motion Plus right here. And a black one. There's some stuff in there. Bundle Mania, bro. Go for it. Time to ask. Look how cool this is. Ricky and I were looking at some of these cars. We're not that into cars. Although, Hot Wheel. But I was like, look how cool this one is. It has the mummy on it. It's Universal Studios, the monster. Ready for this action glorious moment, Ricky. This moment's gonna change your life. When I get to it, this moment's gonna change. This moment's gonna change your life. That's really cool, dude. That is really cool. Heavy. Ooh. I think I'd rather keep it in the box. That box is so nice. What year, Ricky? Guess what year it's from? Uh, 2006. You should just stop. 2000. 2000. 2000. I don't like the display box on this one, dude. I actually like this one because it looks like an oil filter. Check it out. Are we seeing Hot Wheel Ricky in action? Hot Wheel Ricky in his natural habitat, searching for food. He needs to feed his craving. He has been one week without a feeding. What will he do? Would you ever sleep on one of these from the swap? Because this is, I don't think it's used, but it's debatably used. Would you? Would you? I would, look, the tag's right there. I guess I would too. Dude, did you feel that thing? It's pretty darn comfortable. That's really comfortable. Wow, that's actually pretty interesting. Ricky, WW. Oh, wow, Westworld. That was a video, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Supreme uh, Leader Snug. Holy crap, it's loud in this food. What do you see, Ricky? Come on, dude. Wow, wow, that's actually pretty cool, Ricky. For $1, $1, how much is what? that? What size is it? Large. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this will wash off. Oh, but it's that thick material, bro. I can't wear thick material. I'm not a thick boy. Cassette tape, Ricky? What are you finding there? Anything good, Ricky? It's just blanks. Just blanks? What are you supposed to do with blanks? You can't listen to blanks. Well, actually, yeah, I can. I'll do what I used to do when I was a kid. Ooh, like mystery listen, carts? You listen to the radio, and then you, when you find the song you want, click. That's not pirating. That's just copying. Remember Faceless Games when we would play games that had no labels on them? Let's do it. Guys, I don't know what this is by that. Dude, I like my ball. Your guy's name is Onuki. First person shooter. This is better than Call of Duty, you piece of crap. I hope it's two players. Oh, Duck Dodgers? Is that a game? Duck Dodgers! <laughs> Duck Dodgers! <laughs> Listen to cassettes and then get demonetized for all the music. Wow. Ugh. Disaster, Ricky. Now you have to buy that. Definitely not into Five Nights at Freddy's, but these are awesome. Those are one of a kind. She got those special orders. I was going to say, those are much cooler looking than, than normal toys. If you buy one of these, no one else is really going to have it out here. Dang, that's still. Oh, broken Slimer. He's broken. No! The guy just told us that they were like one of a kind. She got them one of a kind. Yeah, these are, wow, and they are heavy as a heck. If you're into horror stuff and not Five Nights, these are actually rad. Four bucks each. Take I will take these for four dollars each. Thank you, man. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you. Just got these babies right here. PlayStation DualShock 3 controllers. Two of them for eight bucks, four bucks each. That's what I'm talking about. These are the better scores. These are clean. They're actually like mint condition, beautiful condition. Ricky, what do you think, bro? How was this deal that your your That's buddy Riff got? Deal. You know who I did it by him for? My son!
we look like a couple creeps. Ricky, will you slap them in my backpack for me? Not slap them literally. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Ricky. So kind of you to stash away. That's a pro tip. It's always, stash. always bring a backpack at the SWAT meet. And if you're wearing short shorts like me, fanny pack. Ricky, you should be a fanny, bro. I'll get one. I'm working on one. You should. I got like a whole bunch if you want one. Thank you. 100 bucks. Uh, no. Look at that shirt. That's seriously sick. Look at that shirt. Never see you never really see Doom shirts out here, Ricky. Yeah. You know, I mean there's a lot That's of the first. There's a lot of places that like, you know, put their own little brand and logo on it, but I never yeah. see people put Doom on it. Also, Ricky, I want that truck, bro, straight up. That one right there. Chevy. Yeah. That's a Chevy, bro. We call it a Chevy where I'm from. Alright, I'm back at this place where I got some Genesis games last time, but they're not set up yet. Retro Rick put me in responsibility, if that even makes sense, to get him a VR Troopers that I passed up on last time. But I don't see it set up yet. In the Game Boy case, we got Asterix down here, some Star Wars, some Power Rangers, ooh, Mickey's Dangerous Chase. What else we got? Game & Watch Gallery. Foot Clan, probably the coolest one in here. Right there, Pac-Man there. Ooh, Yoshi actually is always a goodie. Never seen 007 on the Game Boy. Oh, <gasps> Batman. Bruce Wayne. Mario's Picross and a legend among the channel. Get a clue. Ooh, Dr. Franken. Seen all these ones I never see. Then again, I'm not a Game Boy collector, so that might make sense. Ricky, what'd you buy? The shirt thing, so the shirt, the same shirt people break up. Sound on it? Sound on it. No, it's that. Oh, son, won't you come? Oh, there's Dave. Wash away the, uh-oh, look at, as we're walking, wow. as we're walking, I smell <laughs> someone that smells better than Gabo. It's Jay the Generous. Uh, What's up, bro? Uh, how are you? Ricky, you gotta show me what's in here, bro. You can't just blaze. Bro, so, I can't even see them. Uh, so you got True Lies. Okay. You got the police. Police squad. Caddyshack. Caddyshack. That's pretty cool. Caddyshack. Victor, Victoria. Patriot Games. Bad Girls. Star Trek. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's Gem and the Holograms. Just kidding, I don't know what that is. But oh, I thought it was. I don't know who that is. There's Jay. Jay is on history. It's, it's a bundle, Rick, uh, Jay. The GameCube lot. Oh, he did the, the controller? Dang, bro. So Jay just came and asked about the controller and he said he'll sell it to him separately. Bro, straight up when I asked earlier, he wouldn't sell it to me separately. <laughs> that, that wasn't out here. No, no, it's fine. It's, honestly, it's fine. It just wasn't out here when we were out here. You see these new Wiimotes though, bro? This one? It's really cool. It's for uh, the, the Joy Grip 5. You put this in your... Uh, and you do the twerk and then it, uh... What were they thinking? Jay, what are you buying over there, bro? We're back at the same booth. What'd you buy? You got the orange spice? And the switch controller. How much? 25 bucks. 25 for both? Yeah. Wow, what a what a swap me bargain. Look at this big light though. How much is this guy? How much for the light? 30? For the big boy? It's pretty cool actually. Ricky, it's 30 bucks. That's not bad. Pick it up. Pick it up. Hey, what's it like being brown at a swap meet, bro, where you get the brown discount? It feels good. It feels good. You know, now you guys know that's how I feel when I go into a surf shop. Jay the Generous went to Golden West today and he said he found some stuff. Show us what you got, Jay. Show the camera. Ricky, come on, feel free to move around, bro. This is 2021, dog. So we found this whole bag. First of all, I looked inside this bag and I was going through it and there was money in here. No so way. I was, uh, I found $30 in here and I gave it back to the vendor. Did you hear that? You found $30 and gave it back to the vendor. That is a good man. Ricky would have totally stuck it in his pocket, 100%. Will you? Yes. How far were you from the vendor when you found it? <laughs> yeah, good question. Yeah. <laughs> so I found this Nintendo. NES with games? With games. Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th. How much? I paid for the whole bag $20. 20, 20 bucks for the whole bag. Son of a gun, bro. What? What's up? Mario Bros. Pac Man Tengen? C Man Toys. Defender? Dude, bro. Uh, a Kenner Bat. What? what? More Atari games? You got demons to die. I've never heard of that one. That's that rare one. Rare game! Calm down, Nidly Diddly Diddly. Demons to Diamond, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Breakout. Oh, Dang, right. what a deal, bro. Yeah, you killed it, dog. You killed it. This is why, uh, you know, the, the gods are shining down on you because you gave that $30 back. You're a good man, you get rewarded. 
So I found this one at the swap meet a long time ago. You found that at the swap meet a long time ago? Wow. So, and then I show Rick. Wow. We work on the tray, so. Dang. Riggy, hold it up in the air, bro. No, two hands, come on. That's like the cool way to do it. Yeah. Are you wearing Vans? No. Wow, <laughs> what a traitor. Hey, bro, you're, your sunglasses, bro. You're, dis you're, you're a disgrace to Vans and a disgrace to walls. Probably. Off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ricky. That thing's beautiful, bro. That thing's thick, too, dog. I know. Where are you going to put that? Game room? Of course. I'm going to hang it. So I'm going to cut a piece of wood, place it like this one, like this. Quit making up stuff. No, I'm serious. You have to angle cut it. What's up, dog? Oh, wow. Dude, is that red? Whoa, dude. Or is that so this is a sealed JP. This is beautiful. Ooh, this is a tight seal too. I have a few that are sealed, but the seals aren't this tight on it. I feel like they're like all loosey goosey, like they've seen better days. But what? I'm never, dude, legit, that's so cool to me. I, I have never seen this. Twilight Zone Christmas. I love it. I love that it's Twilight Zone, so it's dark, but ooh, it opens up. My, my hands can't do it. I'll drop it. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Satan Claus right there. That is awesome, dude. I cannot wait to pop that. I've been watching so much VHS lately, like watching it. We've got a year of hard work ahead of us to get ready for next Christmas. Come on, are you ready? I bought in like giant lots and then like sold off parts of them and keep oh, the stuff I like. Oh, it comes with the insert. And this is one that will be just sitting there graciously playing in the background, especially during, especially during the holidays. Hey, is that Ricky Ricardo on there? That's not Ricky Ricardo, bro. And Lucy. Is it really? Oh my gosh, it's Lucille Ball. I and told you. I know. I thought you were just lying to me. Open no. it up. Let's see. My shadowing is really bad here. Wow, that's a, a different. Okay. My question is, is why are they on there? Are they part of the video? Is that what it is? Is it like yeah, Ricky Ricardo in it? Christmas special. If they're on it, that's awesome, honestly. Thanks, J-Dog. Hey, yeah. for real, bro. You're the man, the myth, the legend. And Ricky, he's just, I don't know, whatever. He's... Jay's the best, bro. A lot Thanks, of people Jay. talk about your hair recently in the videos, Ricky. Really? Is yeah. it messed up? They're saying it's really high. I had to get a high haircut. It was actually like this long at one point. How big is it? Now we are going to get a burrito from a place that Ricky Ito is looking up. What's it called, Doggy Dog? Do you know? I forgot the name of it, dude. What? Careful, you're gonna run over this guy. Hey bro, let me be stupid and drive illegally. All right. Whoa, he legit went to the swami for produce. Nice. Awesome. All right, we're eating at Hank's. So I used to go here all the time as a kid back in the day because my aunt to work, I'm talking loud because about the street. She used to work at that cleaners back in the day and I used to hang out back there. No joke, I never thought I'd even have a reason to tell the story. As a kid, probably eight years old, was back there. A guy used to live in a trailer behind there and he would let me go in his trailer. He was a normal guy, we knew him. And I remember him giving me Nintendo games and I remember that's where I got Legend of Kage for the first time from some, I just remember he was a really big dude. I'm not joking, like 800 pounds. I think he was like in mobile. Super cool dude though. Played a lot of games back there, but now time to go eat at Hank's Mexican food and try it out. I will have a breakfast burrito. Everything on it is okay? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what's on it, but I'll eat it. It's pretty good. I'm easy to going with food. And I'll take a large Dr. Pepper as well. Thank you. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. He says I'm gonna love it. It's really good. I, is that I, all for you? That's it for me. And is it for here? Uh, for here. I wonder what Ricky's ordering. I'm guessing a breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito? With what? Orchata. Oh, an orchata? Even better. All right, my number is 69. Uh, I'll take some hot sauce. Red sauce, green sauce? Uh, red sauce, please. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, uh, oh boy, Ricky, that was very close. I almost just dropped this. Guess what number I was? 69. <laughs> Why would you guess that? <laughs> How's your burrito? Good, bro. Very good. What's in it? Tomatoes, bacon, cheese, hash browns. I don't know what else. I think that's it. Probably human meat. The sweetest meat of all. Ricky and I are getting some gas and hoping, hoping that we can go uh, hit up a couple yard, yard sales. sales. We're hoping. There's no promise. This could be the end of the video or going to something else. Yard sales are a maybe. Ricky's over there talking to someone and they're talking to him about parts and how to fix electronics, but they have no idea that Ricky knows nothing 
about fixing electronics. Poor Ricky. So it's funny, while I was there, I was like, do you have any VHS tapes, old games? And most people have old VHS tapes lying around. But funny enough, people that weren't selling there heard me and they were like, oh, there's a garage sale, I'm gonna stop. They heard me and I got phone numbers of other people that were at the garage sale who were like, hey, we'll, we'll give you our number. So I got two phone numbers of people who are gonna call me with VHS tapes. And they said, it's like cartoon stuff. So that's cool. All right, Ricky, you can stop. I'm gonna get in an accident right now. We got a number. We got, we got a number. number. We got a number. These are perfectly normal feelings. All right, pick up, not gaming, but I got this for my wife for 20 bucks. We literally, last night, got rid of one of our couches and she was like, find me a cool chair. I found this, I could tell my wife was genuinely happy and excited. She's like, honey, you looked for me? You're so nice. Tonight's gonna be a good night, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That means she, I'm gonna play video games tonight. Uh, see if this baby fits. Ready? It's gonna fit like a glove, Ricky. It's gonna fit like a glove. Look at that. And now, happy wife, happy life, happy game hunting. We got scores today. We got PS3 controllers. We got clothes. We got PSP goes. We got, what else did you get? You got something else. You got, what'd you get? PS1 game. PS Legend of Ligaya. That's right. You don't have any old video games lying around? No. Or old, and I'm sorry. Old got, VHS tapes or anything? We got cleaned out this morning. We didn't have video games, but. All right, so this is one of those random times where I walk into my game room and I'm like, hey, everything looks good, but I'm a weird dude. And every once in a while, I have ADD. I have ADD very often. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take all this stuff down not like the shelves and stuff, and just put things in different places to mix it up. I got a lot of stuff, but I wanna put the turtles maybe over there and that place and that wall and take these guys over here and put them up there because sometimes I just like a change of scenery. So that's what I'm gonna do. This video wasn't planned. I don't, my dog sniffing my leg and that's it. All right, so here I go. Let's take a peek at what I got. What it, you already know what it's set up like in here, right? Here is a real quick peek. I got the super wide lens on right now to kind of see most of the toys are over here, which probably will have to, you know, somewhat stay there, but look differently. Stuff there. This is all the stuff I bought recently. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. That's the reason I was inspired to do this, by the way, because I have so much stuff that I bought recently. Uh, obviously, like the kiosk and stuff, I'm not gonna move because that's where they fit. That's where they go. But Genesis stuff, loose Genesis, turtles, random, random, TVs, VHSs, toys, 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 computer stuff, editing. That's normally not there. I did that yesterday because I was filming something and my gosh, it was bright and sunny and it made me look weird on the webcam. Also check this out. I know I have my M&M stuff down here and I have this Mulligan M&M guy right here. But the other day I was talking with a customer and they had this sitting out in front of their house and they were like, hey, it's trash. And I'm like, can I have it then? And they were like, take it. So I officially took off just this and I'm already like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be overwhelmed. This is all down here, but it's really cool because you get to see things and be like, hey, I want some other things to take the front and center. Like I never see that Pac-Man thing because it's kind of in the back. I never see any of this double dragon stuff, which I like, like I want that to get more shine. Uh, there's just so much stuff on here. This hole underneath here is just filled with loose figures and toys. So we'll see, I'll probably move something over here and I don't know if I'm gonna keep filming it like I did before because that just uh, takes me extra work and angles and whatnot. But one thing I wanted to point out and I have not cleaned these off yet, so mine like the weird dust things. I have this Rampage guy, as you can see he makes noise. By the way, he probably belongs over here. 
but I don't know if I want to put him over here because when I lifted him up and he's like squishy, like one of those bend them things. Oh yeah, look. Oh wow, I just found the hole. So uh, warning of notice to everybody, check this. Sorry, and yes, there's gross little bug thingies because it was hidden forever. That's like goo, it's dried now. Yeah, it's dried. I gotta use whatever to get this stuff off. But uh, yeah, that's from his insides. Oh yeah, look, I can probably get that up. Word of uh, wisdom. These guys, they can crack. So I'll probably have to put him somewhere that I don't care or put something under him so he doesn't leak. Definitely not gonna put him on the rampage. Every cleaner's best friend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, just oh yeah. Oh baby. Also a very good opportunity to grab some wipes and clean everything down because you know we never do this as collectors. We have these shelves that we rely on but we don't take proper care of them. So another reason, even if you're not gonna reorganize, yeah. Throw these on a shelf and uh, clean them up. Throw them on a shelf, I mean, you know, whatever. I think I'm gonna move the turtles over there. I don't have any rhyme or reason, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is one of those instances where you bite off more than you can chew. I'm making my way through, but I'm definitely underestimated the time it takes to do just the littlest things. So this is where I'm at right now. I put a lot of my turtle stuff up here and I have not even put them all up there yet and I don't know where I'm gonna put all these guys. And then I started moving the, the Happy Meal stuff down here. That's open, those are open, and I'm gonna move this and maybe make that a VHS wall and put the Genesis in back. I'm not sure. Another update of where I'm at, back there. That's as much as I got for now. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This wall is to be determined. Down here has changed. This is still a work in progress and I think Star Wars is gonna go up here. I don't know, again, there's stuff everywhere. That took way longer than I would have thought and you guys wouldn't notice, but let me just kind of show you guys from the other angle. Sorry if this video is kind of boring, but I'm just showing you what it is. Yes, the AC's running in the back too. It's too hot. This ain't one of my high production videos. Let's just say that. That's what it looks like now. I mean, it looks the same to you guys from far away but it is a completely different set. Oh, and I added that Pac-Man right there to fill up that little gap. And then I moved uh, one of the Waluigi, or the Luigi hats. Yeah, Waluigi hats right there. All right, that's it. My gosh, peace out.